This uh, cave dweller, I haven't uh, haven't been um, speaking to you. Uh, cave dweller, I'll just cut it. I'll just tell you this way: uh, my fine master of fine arts, and that means I get to tell you things. Cave dweller, I guess uh, there's a formality coming up, which is called uh, my thesis defense. But uh, I anticipate that to be no problem. I know karate. I don't know karate. As a coxswain for the motor whaleboat, it is my job to drive the boat in a circle, in a holding pattern, uh, waiting for orders. So, there was a competition of coxswains one day, and I was piloting a holding pattern, and I kept following my own wake, trying to correct the wake into a circle. And Lieutenant J.G. Sumili said to me, it wasn't Sumili, it was Oropesa. Lieutenant J.G. Oropesa said to me, Scrouse, just hold the wheel in one place and it'll automatically go in a circle. And I didn't believe him, and I refused to do it. I had it in my head that I needed to constantly correct the little jagged motions in the circle of my wake. He relieved me of coxswainhood and took over himself, humiliating everybody in the boat because I couldn't get it. That's how I think, cave dweller. I fixate on ideas. We're here to kill bandits. Hello. I was going to suspend this cathode ray tube by these little rings on chains in my Scrouse's mystical meditational labyrinth. But then I found out that cathode ray tubes store and retain an enormous amount of electricity for a long for a month, months, weeks. Thousands of volts will kill you. As I'm trying to figure out how to turn it on and holding it by the cathode ray tube and telling my girlfriend to plug it in, I almost died for my art. A sacrifice to my own ignorance. But I was spared.